Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to explore uh, substrings and index of uh, string. And you'll see what I mean by those if you're unfamiliar with them or if you've never seen them in other programming languages. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, let's create a string. Let's call it st. And let's just name it uh, Carlos or something. I don't know. So, what you can do, actually, um, you can get just part of a string. And the way to think about it is that each character in this string has an index. So the C is 0, the A is 1, the R is 2, L3, and so on and so forth. Just you have to remember that it starts at 0, it doesn't start at 1. So if I wanted to print uh, the first character in the string, I would do the name of the variable, so st, and then square braces and whichever index I wanted to print. So it'd be 0, because 0 is the first character, right? It's the c. So if we go ahead and run that, I'll make this a little larger for you guys, too. Um, if, we, if we run that, we see that we just print out the c. And if we wanted to do a, uh, we do 1, so on and so forth. But you can actually get multiple. Uh, characters in a substring. So let's say we wanted the car. Uh, what would we do? Well, it starts at zero, right? And you might be thinking, oh, well, the R is uh, the second index, right? Or it's index number two. I guess it's not the second. The second one would be A, but it's two. I know it's confusing since it starts at zero, uh, but just go with me. Um, you're thinking, oh, this is index two, the R, so it ends at two. And I'd say, yeah, it. it it does, but Python's a little weird. So if we do this, this means start at 0, end at 2, and you'll see what happens. We actually just get CA. Uh, so where it ends, it doesn't include it. So if we do 3, it'll actually print out car. Okay? Um, and you can take it one step further. If you wanted to print out the whole thing, uh, you just leave that blank. So if we start at 0, and we do that, or if we start at index 1, we get Arlos. But what you can actually do is we can throw in a third kind of, I wouldn't say parameter, but a third little little option, I guess, into, this, into the substring. And this is the step, meaning how often do we want to stop? OK, so if we do 2, this will print out every second character. So we get the C, then we go to R, right? And then we skip one and go to O. So this does every two. If we do three, it does that. Pretty neat. So you can do a lot of powerful things with that. Um, and I think a good example would actually be a, an email address. So let's say we have carlos32 at gmail.com. And let's say you just wanted their username. This would be their username, right? Uh, you had a Python program that just wanted their username out of an email. So the way we could do that is, obviously, we can just print out st uh, from 0 to, and then we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we can put 8, because it starts at 0. It would actually be 0 to 7. Um, but the seventh wouldn't be printed out, so we do eight. And there you go. The problem is, if we do this for everyone's email, not everyone is going to have the same length, right? Some might be car 32, all right? That's not going to work. So if we run this, we won't get, we'll get the at. So that's where the index comes in. And the index, it looks for the first character that we give it, uh, and it gives you the, the, the index of that. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we do string variable, so st dot index, and we tell it, find me the first instance of this at. Let's see what happens. We get car32. Because it gave us the index of this at. The at is where we're stopping, right? We're not including it, so that's perfect. Um, and uh, there we go. And since g. This is the first instance of G we'll get car32 at. Pretty neat. 
pretty neat. So that is how you use um, substrings in Python, how you can obtain them, and how you can also use the index to, you know, make it stop wherever you want. So now if I do this, it'll get all of that up into the at because it looks for the at. It doesn't care about anything else until it gets to it and it'll print out the beginning of it. So you can use that to your advantage for whatever string manipulation you want to, you know, play around with. Um, I found this very useful. I actually did a similar case where I had to get the username out of an email, so that's where I came upon this. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this useful. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.